Hi, Linda Sessions here, and this is just a quick overview of the PowerPoint presentation for the school fundraiser. Some of you are doing the dream vacation, and some of the classes are doing the fundraiser. For those doing the fundraiser, this is should be a PowerPoint presentation to get others excited about going and buying items from the Panther Booster Club. So you're going to open up first a blank presentation and you're going to change it to something other than the office theme. So I'm just going to come up here, got my PowerPoint open, going to go to design, choose something other than um, the office theme. If I come over here, I can come use this uh, main event. And what's really cool is I can then come over here to the variants and I can actually change it and then make it green since uh, Panthers are green. So don't forget the variants over here. You have this drop down arrow here where you can also change the colors, mess around with the fonts if you want to. Uh, so don't be afraid to uh, mess around with this. Click to add title for our presentation. It is going to be uh, support your hometown Panthers. And your subtitle, I just want your given name. And then you're going to add a picture of a Panther to the title slide in some way. So we're going to come up here to the insert tab. And on the pictures, you can start images or online pictures. Now, for the purpose of this video or for this presentation, uh, you can use um, Creative Commons videos or Creative Commons uh, images. And you don't need to worry about citations if you don't want to. Chances are, if you're um, doing this, you're going to have your school panther logo that you're going to be using. So here I've got this panther logo right here. I'm going to approve this one. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to put it right up here. Uh, so I'm going to come up here to the color and I think I'm going to change the color a little bit and just make it black and white. There's grayscale. I'm just going to make it black and white. Um, since my team colors aren't blue, I don't want it blue. So, uh, but remember, when you are messing with your pictures, you have all those other things over here you can do with your pictures, artistic effects. Just make it yours. The next slide is going to be... Let me see where I, I lost my place. A title and content slide. So I'm going to come up here to the home tab, go to new slide. I want title and content. Click to add title. And this is going to be sale items include. And this is where I want you to put in a smart art. Now your smart art right down here in your icons, you can just click on your smart art and you can pick any of the smart arts that you want. I don't care which one you choose. You can choose one with, with um, pictures, one without pictures. Now you don't need to worry if you can't find one that only that has four items. Okay. Cause you can add. So if I choose this one right here, I can say, okay. And, or I can add text to this one. This first one's going to be sports. And my next one will be household. You can see how it's making my text all the same size to fit in my 
spots. Now, I need a fourth one. So up here in my Smart Art Design, I can add a shape after, and then I can come down here and I can add a text pane. It's going to bring up where I can type my text in. And so right here in this blank one, I'm going to type in miscellaneous. And then I can close the text pane. And there are my four items. It wants me to also format my smart art. So I need to select it, come back up here to design. I want to change my colors in some way. And I think I want my uh, circles to have color inside of them. And like I said, you can choose any of them. If you don't like this one, you find you do it and you don't like it, you can always come back up here and change it. You know, hey, play around with it. Find one that you like. Kind of cool the way it can take what you put together and just make sure you do one that, that makes sense. Okay. You can just because you can make it into a smart art doesn't mean that smart art's going to make sense for you. Right. So uh, change it to that one. And then you're going to add um, smart art style to it. So just going to make it a little more interesting to look at. So don't be afraid to play around with that smart art. You can add pictures if you want to or not. That is completely up to you. Now slides three, four, five, and six are going to be slides that show the different items that you are selling. Now remember when you're creating these this uh, presentation that you are selling you are selling items for a sports team. Uh, when I was thinking about this, I was thinking about a high school sports the team, uh, maybe a college sports team, but this is for a booster club. So they're going to be setting up maybe outside of um, a sports venue somewhere, maybe have a little tent set up. So they're not going to be selling, you know, the household items. They're probably not going to be selling refrigerators or stoves. Okay. Um, the household items, maybe they're going to be selling like towels, you know, like the Steelers have the terrible yellow towels uh, thing, or maybe lamps for the household sports. Maybe they're going to have like basketballs or soccer balls. Um, clothing, of course, you've got t-shirts, hoodies, miscellaneous. You've got like the thunder sticks that I get a kick out of or maybe some pom-poms. So think about what you might find, uh, or maybe even the miscellaneous, maybe it's candy. Household could be candy, right? So for each one of those here in the instructions, it tells you, like slide, slide three is going to be a two content slide and what to put on it. Slide four is going to be a two content slide. Um, slide five is going to be a comparison layout. And slide, slide six is going to be another two content slide. Um, I want you to put prices on here. Uh, use your imagination with the prices, but remember these are items that are being sold for a school. And usually you put the dollar sign and then the amount. So if it's six dollars, you're going to put dollar sign six. And so uh, just be consistent when you put the amount on your items, how much you're going to be selling stuff for. Slide seven is going to be title and content with the future sales dates as a title. And then you're going to have a, multi, a multi-level bullet list. The first level bullet is going to be your date. You're going to have at least four future dates. The dates are all going to be first level bullets. 
the location of where the cells are going to be are all going to be second level bullets. So you're going to have four first level bullets and four second level bullets. Then I want you to add a couple of shapes and or icons just to make your presentation look better and make sure you format and place those shapes or icons so that your slide looks good. Make sure you add some color, maybe add some text. Slide eight should be a content with caption or a picture with caption layout. Title is going to be thank you for your support. Going to add some text, uh, thanking the boosters for supporting the sports, along with a picture that will enhance the slide. Make sure you check your presentation for spelling and grammar errors. I want you to add transitions. A lot of students forget about this one. They forget to add the transitions. And then I want you to add animations to at least four of your slides. Now on slide four, I would like you to use the grow and turn animation. But if that animation does not make sense on slide four, you may use it on a different slide. Make sure you review your presentation and look at it as if you were the one giving it. Um, adjust as you need to, make it perfect, preview it, check the spelling, save it, and submit it for grading. Now here is an example of one that I did. So you've got your slide one with a title. Now here's my smart art. And one thing that I sold in my stores, I have a rubber ducky here, um, but I've got my items and then I've got pictures of some of the items that I was selling. Here's my sports items for sale. I've got a duffel bag and a couple of sports balls. Now in this household items for sale, when I saved this for some reason, it moved this, my pictures over. So these pictures or the text, one or the other should be over in this area right here. And I can't remember right off the top of my head. So make sure that you don't have your pictures on top of your text. Your clothing, got a couple of pieces of items of clothing here. My miscellaneous items for sale. You can see I have them listed here. And then here's some pictures. The pictures are formatted in some way. And here are my future sales dates. Here's my shape with some text added. When you have your shape, when you add a text to it, make sure that your text, remember the, the uh, if you have a dark background in your shape, you want to use light colored text. If you have dark background in your shape, you want to use light colored text. If you're, if you cannot see all of the text, then you might need to make your shape larger or you might need to make your text smaller. Don't go below. I don't go below 14 font when I'm doing a PowerPoint presentation. I think anything lower than that is too small. Um, so keep th those things in mind as you're creating your shapes. And here are some icons that I put into my presentation. And finally, my last slide, I have a picture of the Panther football team. Um, thank you for your support. And then I've got a little blurb thanking people for supporting the Panther athletics. You're going to save it. And um, I think you're going to save it with your last name, Panther Booster Club, and submit it in Canvas for grading. Let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully you have some fun putting this together. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.